through the week again. Luckily, I'm really close to home. I'm on the bike. Got, uh, I'm pushing this up here. Cannot ride it up. It's a nightmare. Pushing it up here. It's really heavy with that on. But it's only on one side. I need another pin here. Put my lights. So I'm going to head into this bit up here. Pulling it more than pushing it. It's really quiet. Really creepy. Oh. Creepy woods of doom. It's both, it's a recce and a potential overnighter. So I'm going to see what it's like because I've never been. If it's no good, I'll have to just go home and this will be a really short video. <laughs> oh, this, this is any good. Broke my gate to stay out. So here we go. Fingers crossed. Oh, so like I say, I'm pulling it more than pushing it. That's a bit rough. I'm sure there's a path somewhere. I haven't found it, it's a little bit at the top. See, there's a potential little spot here, but it's too close to the entrance. I'm going to get further in. Local woods are doing like. Didn't have to inhabit it or not. We'll find out. I'm gonna get a um I'm gonna get a rack from the mountain bike. That would have got up here. This is this isn't geared right. It's a hybrid more for the road. So if I haven't got them granny gears that you need. Good on the road like. Not in that phrase. <sighs> Where's the clear on up here? Phew! case you know yeah so I've just got the one the one on so I need to get another either another pair or another one on I don't know what happened to that though anyway here we are all set up oh it's hung up anyway so I've got the double crucifying jean knot with the tree huggers this is a green back tie through double rope which just goes in there like that let's pull it that's hanging that up. Front line hammock, DD front line. When I sit in it, it goes down so I can put my feet on the ground, which is good. It's high up at the minute, but it does lower down. I'm gonna have my head at this end, I think. It's like, it's going that way, isn't it? Down, so have your head the high end. Same here, tree huggers, and then, so I'll just elasticate it on, so it's good. You'll notice, right? No top. Because the weather forecast, and I'm putting my faith in it, said there's like 1% chance of rain. Zero, basically, it's not going to rain. But I've got the ridge line up. I've got this ridge line up here ready. And I have brought the top. I've brought a couple of ghost chip through the week beer and I brought something for uh, there's a little visitor already I think I'll be plagued by these like it's pretty red isn't it that'll be a, um, a wood louse eating spider they can bite you them if they're red in colour don't be mucking about with them because they'll give you a little nip anyway. so that's it Look at this sun splitting the trees. Should get a nice sunset over there. 
not be able to, uh, don't think I'll be able to video it. Trees are in the way, but the sky will turn a nice colour. And then the creatures will start coming out. I hopefully don't mean the locals. I've had a look around for deadfall. Some over there, there's none here. Fingers crossed, there's not, there's not big trees. These are not big trees, so all the biggins are over there. So if we go down, we'll be going that way. He says, maybe. Right, just gotta get the rest of my stuff set up and then just relax. Might have a beer. Ah, this is the life. Bug net is essential. All sorts dropping out them trees. <laughs> Creatures, I mean. Not branches, hopefully. Right. Stop here all night. <laughs> Sun's going down. It was a lovely sunset. I should have went high. Damn. Not really. I'm through there. Just having a bit much. Not what's happening. There's a few shelters. <laughs> Spider. There's a few shelters in there. Uh, there's one over there, there's another one over there. But they've left loads of rubbish. Cans and tins of bloody shite. <sighs> Somebody's left a big bag of rubbish hanging from the trees, man. What is, what's wrong with people? You bag it all up. You go to all the trouble of bagging it up and then you hang it on the tree. Are you stupid? Anybody knows these woods and you're camping in these woods, come back and get that bloody bag of rubbish out. Bloody idiots, man. Hanging a big bag of rubbish from the trees. Don't deserve good stuff. Right, that was a nice sunset, that. That's me rant over. Just doing this video. Because I'm out on Saturday. Out with the lads on Saturday. But we're gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be filming. Been there a few times down at that hut in the valley. It's just uh, filmed about five times already. So there's not much point really. So I'm gonna have a Saturday off. So this midweek video will be one and only this week. I was gonna go out Friday, but I've got a job on Saturday morning. So that's the end of that. Ugh. Typical. Yeah. Just through there, sun going down. Wind's picking up like, but it's not forecast to get any worse, so it should be alright. That's it, it's my little home for the night. Alright, I'm gonna get a beer and I'm gonna get my tea on. I've only got a dehydrated meal. That's all I need. So I'm just making a little area. do is all this dry ground and just wet it thing in the world to build.
<laughs> don't need this bed. I've got some fat wood. I'm gonna get some gather some little twigs and we'll come back. First first time. <laughs> first strike. Twigs in. So that would catch. Everything's dead dry. Now I'm going to get the, the kettle on and the fire pot. Spicy pork noodles. Ready for the creatures. So got level four. Level four pinch it there. Pour it in. That's, that's about there. A little bit more just to, sh just to be sure. Give it a little stir. Gotta leave it for 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Start. There we go. And we'll come back when that's done. So it's fifteen minutes later. There we go. Spicy pork noodles. Bloody awful. Not great these meals like that. It's just spicy though. Hmm. Right. I'm just letting that die out. I don't want to give me position away. I'm sure I heard voices. So I'm just gonna have this. A couple more beers and then put the radio on. And if anything interesting happens, we'll come back. It's alright, I suppose. Got a bit of an aftertaste. Right, I need to get a bit of light. Right, I'm in. Um, it's about half nine. I'm gonna have an early start in the morning because I want to get. Um, I want to go home, get changed, get off to work. I've got to. I've got to ride my bike back. It's about four mile. That's all right. That's what you do. All sorts of creepy noises in the forest of terror. There's, uh, there's not much to see really. I'm just swinging. There's lights over there. Right. I don't want to give me position here, but a big moon coming up over the back of us. So I'm going to switch off, um, listen to a podcast, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Creepy but good, good fun. Like, if you're not, uh, if you're not happy about creepy forests, creaky noises, and distant lights and weird sounds, 
don't do urban woodland camps. I know this place well, so. Plus I'm rock hard. If anybody comes. Then I've lost the light. On a camp, it's hidey high. Now, nothing, not a thing. Zero zip. Zilch in the forest of terror. So what we've got now is the head torch on. Lead lens a head torch. It's on full, unfortunately. So what I'll do is put the world's brightest torch on. That's it. And we'll see. I've just been hanging here. All cosy. Slept alright. It's early in the morning, so I'm just getting up. Sun's not up till 10 to 7. That's way too late. Look at that. Oh. I'll be at work then, 10 to 7, so I'm just going to get ready and go. This is where I was last night. With the, the firebox was here. No trace of that, is there? That's where it was. That's the stones. All good. Right, so we're gonna get sorted out, packed up, and then off. I get some eat when I get home. Hope you enjoyed this little midweek malarkey, shall we say. Right, anything happens, I'll bring you back. If not, See you in a bit.